pull-ups are done. If anyone finds this, my name is Sean Garner. Tell my wife and kids I love them. Happy Monday to you guys. I hope you're having an awesome day. I am starting to recover from what happened to me today. I'm on my way home from work. It was a pretty easy as far as in regards to training clients. It's pretty slow because it's a holiday week. Um, but normally we have team training that we do at two o'clock. And uh, instead today, Mr. Mark Megna uh, got me to come do Murph with him and one of the other group fitness instructors, Nelson, at Flamingo Park at 3 p.m. at the hottest part of the day where it's a brisk 95 degrees outside and like 100% humidity, something crazy. Um, he tricked me. He said, Sean, this would make a great vlog episode. Well, let's see if it does. All right, here at Flamingo Park, Nelson, Magna, we're about to do Murph. Thankfully, it's a cloudy day. <laughs> It's uh, it's a brisk. It's, a sky. it's it's brisk. <laughs> it's maybe it's, it's maybe just... a chilly like 95 degrees out here. So and like 100 100 humidity. <laughs> yeah. So it's it's a perfect three o'clock in the afternoon. Perfect conditions to do Murph. Murph, if you don't know what it is, it's a mile run, 100 pull ups, 200 push ups, 300 squats, another mile run, wearing a light 20 pound weight vest. So here we go. Insert dramatic music here. It's the best I got. <laughs> are done if anyone finds this my name is Sean Garner tell my wife and kids I love them this is not easy I am not enjoying this 300 squats all right last one to finish my squats I'm about to throw up one mile run left. I don't even know what just happened to me. All right, Murph completed. How do you guys feel? That was nothing for you guys. Mark. Accomplished. Oh my God. And Nelson, Nelson gets the award, I think, for best form. I. <laughs> oh, no doubt. So challenging. No doubt. My, I so was challenged. not proud of my reps, but I finished. That was my goal, was finish. We finished. We, it's just, it's not, it's not even, um, how painful it was for us. Imagine all, all this military personnel that went above seas and they fought in every single battle for us to have the freedom we have right now. The pain that we went through is nothing compared to what they, what they go through every day when they go in battle so we can have the freedom we have right now. You know? He's right. It's not a work. It's not, you don't do it because it's a workout or training. You're doing it because you're, you're showing uh, you're honoring someone else who did something really really special and sacrifice made a huge sacrifice the ultimate sacrifice mm -hmm. so as Nelson said it was, it's hard but in comparison it's nothing I mean we're doing a training session in a public park for crying out loud so it's the least we could do right all right so the story of Murph was from Lieutenant Michael Murphy he was on Operation Red Wing which is what the movie Lone Survivor with Marcus Luttrell was on if you remember from the movie Murph or Michael Murphy was the guy that actually sacrificed himself to climb up on the hill and radio out so he could try and save the rest of his team. His father, after he, after he passed, his father even said that it was very characteristic of him because as he was radioing out, he was being shot and he even had the courtesy to say thank you to uh, the radio dispatcher as he was getting shot and his father said that that was just like him because he was just that great of a guy so 
this was actually a workout that he would do before they would go out on long missions and he called it battle armor or body armor and he would do it with his uh with all of his combat gear on and everything so we did it to honor him and then the other men and women like him so mark magna one of the most mentally tough people i know have you always been mentally tough believe me i'm not mentally tough now <laughs> stop <laughs> That was, that was a really, really challenging thing. I mean, by the way, this guy didn't even train for it. I mean, he got talked into it this morning. So how about that? I'm not talking mentally tough. I'm probably the least mentally tough person on our staff. That's why I surround myself with all these tough guys. We have a staff of really tough people. He's also the most humble. So I'm serious. Is there something that you learned at a young age or like how to flip the switch to make it to where because you can just go and you can you could push your body to the point of like crazy have you always been like that? how did you figure out how to flip the switch you know what i mean you know what i realized that every kid i came across was either really much stronger than me much faster than me more athletic than me and the truth is like the only thing that i had that a lot of those kids didn't have was the ability to just not stop and keep going. So I realized that at a young age that some people, you don't really have it, it's just that how bad you really want it and then you show it with your actions. Like some people have to, some people have to like constantly preach it or try to convince other people that's what they are and some people really just have something special to dig down deep and just keep going because it's that important to them. You are what your actions are, right? So you push yourself if it's important. Your actions show your priorities.